Hey, hey, hey! Come on in, you guys. Welcome. Delmi Cherry is here. Alrighty. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for you guys. I don't know if you guys are going to be receptive to it or throw it in the trash or something. But I feel compelled to do it. And it's something I need to do for me. And also helping those that are the, in the same dilemma as me to finally choose to make a decision. And the decision is pertaining to their foundation shade match. So I am guilty. I am one of so many that buys foundation, well, in the beginning days of makeup for me or in the, this channel you guys have seen me struggling with not struggling but i tend to buy whatever shade that i find especially when i spot something closer to my skin tone from tj maxx and marshall's and then we come here to make it work to my liking to my shade it is also it is possible but it does require a little bit of work tweaking the undertone, adding deeper or lighter shades or bronzer or whatever to it to finally create a, a color or shade that matches me. But I've been wanting to, as I'm switching my makeup stuff around, you guys see on my background, I no longer have my um, drawers there. I'm gonna put, add on a new set of drawers there, but I have everything laid to this side of my wall where I can see everything and have everything together off my foundation because I had them by brand. Um, and I think that makes it a little more out of mind, out of sight for me because if I don't see the foundation or the powder of this brand, I just go grab whatever other brand and then I never get to use that brand. So I'm putting all of the powders together and um all of my concealers all of my foundations and now speaking of foundations i finally get to see how much foundations i have been collecting and how much foundation i need to get rid of this is all of my foundations um that with yours help i'm gonna need to filter out remove the stuff that i've been making that i've been needing to um make them work and keep the essentials that are one two three ready to go close to my skin tone put them somewhere i can grab and use them and not having to make things work and perhaps either give away to my niece or friends some of the shades that don't are so far off from me and the ones that I probably have not used if they're so far off add them onto my kit as a shade type or shade range and um we'll we'll make the best of them okay that was a long intro without further ado let's enjoy filtering through my foundations help me out here we're gonna be squatching i'm not gonna add it all on my face um we're just gonna do swatches of them and decide which one is closer to me and put them on different piles as i go i have my towel here with my brush and uh let's get to swatch <laughs> Okay, I think I somewhat, to my best ability, put them to my brand, not particularly the type, whether it's um, uh, shim or shimmer, luminous versus matte, none of that. We're just going to swatch them by brand and um, we'll make the best of it, okay? So, let's start with one of my oldest foundation from the beginning of time. And this is where we can gradually see how your girl 
evolve into a better self with in the makeup world and um you know little by little i am you know i'm getting better um we did not all of us did not start um in this makeup world with uh, like with perfection okay you had to have some trial and error moments you you get better as you go as time goes so this is one of my first foundation this i don't think i should still have because it's probably expired but um i still have it um granted i do not use her often probably back in the days we were when i was making things work and um with my channel listen i have to start somewhere okay so this elf is the flawless finish foundation i'm gonna clean the back of my hand because i have swatch from my last um teaching max haul that i shared with you guys do check that out i'll put the card on the side for you guys to see so clear hands the lighting you guys know this from my last make get ready with me i'm playing with lights i'm trying like right now in my head i have so much that i want to change so so much that i want to uh, tweak a little bit just to get a new vibe a new you know flow going um so right now i do have my lighting in warm in a warmer setting on my regular settings i have them like the bright blue light or white light so now it's more warm and i feel like and i did create the look using the natural light which so if you ask me that wasn't my my i didn't like it but i ha I was having issues seeing the in myself in the mirror it was a hot mess okay so um we got the lighting on warm setting let me know how you like this one it is i can see my face i can see my true color um so yeah let's get started okay um so yes we have the elf foundation i'm gonna squirt a little bit on here and use this brush here and this is a hb bh studio pro eyeshadow brush or concealer brush we're gonna go ahead and do a swatch right <laughs> should we should we say something <laughs> and this is in the shade caramel what was i thinking um i think i had a shade that was much lighter and i went and got me shade caramel that was closer to my shade range and this purchase was from a cvs and they didn't have a lot of shades available but i was determined to get me a foundation to make it work and to keep the ball rolling okay so this shade is probably more of a brightening shade heck we could do better let me not try to tweak it and make excuses and and try to make it look good this is too far off from my shade and um yes we can make it work but we can choose to not all right the next drugstore product is the the next can't stop won't stop foundation i think i have two of this foundation oh yes i do i have two shades here this is where um i don't know why i got this shade this one is chestnut it doesn't seem like I've used it. Or maybe I got this one for my sister back in the days. And because um, she, at some point, was darker than me. But I believe now we have almost the same foundation shade range. Um, this is not even, it's dried up. The tip is dried up. Let's open her up and see. What is 
Okay, it was a mess. The, I had to remove it off the cap, the cap off, and the the little tube was drying, and it was in operation. I don't think it still didn't. It's still not squirting, but I got the the fun the amount that I need um, out of the way. We'll proceed with that, and then at an, in another time. I'll figure it out after this video. Um, so yes, this is in the shade Chestnut. We're going to put it right next to this one. Right? Let's just have them lined up so we could know which one is which. This is Chestnut on me. Um, I can say this is somewhat my summer shade, but... If I were to add this to that, I would have my perfect shade. And this would be one of those make it work type of foundation. And um, this is too dark. The next one is in the shade Mocha. Hopefully she's ready to go. What tricks do you guys have when your tubes are all dried up like this? And this is not a cap that's that can be easily open it's like locked and if i go ahead and push it out like this it is it it goes all over the place the struggle is real okay this is mocha And this is mocha on me. Mocha, I can put it on, but she's a little yellow. She's a teensy bit yellow. If I add this, a teensy, the neutral tone of this to that, I can make it work. <laughs> and the purpose of this video today is to no longer have to do that. I'm 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 open to do it. Um but yeah, mocha can work. But I don't think she's it. I can still put mocha on the good part, the good side of the the foundation range. Okay? Yeah. Um the next I have lined up here is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. You guys know if you have been here with me from the beginning of time. From the beginning of time, you guys, these Fit Me Foundation, I think my channel was built on the back of these foundation. I got me three shades and what is my summer shade and what is my winter shade that's 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 the process of these shades what happens to the third shade i don't know i got me 355 i started using 360 and then i have 370 and i think 370 was at some point my sister's shade and then she passed it over to me but i can tell you 355 was it for me She's a little dry though, because I have not reached for it for her, but she's still here standing. 355 is coconut. Um, and she was she was here for me. And it's funny to say now that 355 probably was not my shade either. <laughs> but I rocked with 355 like nobody's business. Yep. 355 was even lighter than the can't stop one stop mocha shade so what was i thinking thank god we have 360 <laughs> perhaps at some point i had some senses to know 355 sometimes did not work we had to bounce to 360 and let's see what 360 looks like on me now 
she's taking a minute to, to come out because the the rim of the bottle is super dry i feel like this foundation at this point i should re-up on them and throw the old ones away this is 360 360 is my shade she's a good one she helped she she came through for 365 but let's try 370 i know 370 is uh, probably gonna be darker but mixing one with another with the other somewhat balance each other out and that's how i've been doing it and i at this point in my life with the amount of foundation we have available now we need to just oh my god can y'all even see 370 We can't even see 370 on me. So we came from here to this. You guys, much, much, much improvement have been done here with this girl. 370 is my true match. She's gonna go on i mean 360 is cool too i can now say 360 is my winter shade and 370 my summer shade it's hot in summer and we get bronzed up right now at this time so 370 is perfect for me um but so is 360 but 370 is the perfect shade the grab and go type of shade you slap it on you don't look like somebody else once you step outside in the true lighting <laughs> so um, we'll keep 360 in the middle, okay? So, moving on to the next. This little brush is doing me good, you guys. Um, 355 is, is, she needs, we need to reconsider. We need to grow out of three, 355. Um, the next um shade that i grabbed from back in the days were these you guys i don't know what i was thinking this was in the time of my desperation when i started going to tj maxx and marshall's and i was just grabbing whatever was there this becca foundation i don't know why she's still here i don't know if i don't even think she's gonna Nope, she's not going to pump out for me. Let's just get it from the bottle. This Becca foundation. We all know what's going on with Becca. No longer ex in existence. But why do I have this shade? Did I ever use this shade in, in, in my channel for you guys? This is Becca. Now we're back to here. In here. This is this was back in the beginning of time. She is truly mad. This is what? Ultimate coverage 24 hours foundation. This was the make it work type of time. Okay? And this fresh, I probably got this to mix with that to make it work for me. And um we we gotta grow out of that i need to grow out of that okay this is like the deepest deepest brown shade that i was able to spot over there and she's red on me she's not it she was just the girl to back up this type of shade and making it work on myself so we are we're done with those goodbye Thank you so much for your services. <laughs> Alrighty. The next one, we're getting to Superstay. This was a new grab for me. 360. Um, with the Maybelline Matte. Well, the Superstay line. So we had the um, Fit Me and we, we had the Superstay also, which was a, a new grab. Um, from a couple of months ago. Let's see how that one looks like on me. Put it next to one 370.
it matches my neck but we can see clearly next to 370 it's much lighter it actually brings out 370 um on me you can see that it's a little darker next to it but i know 370 when we swatched it we could have we could barely see it on me but this is what we have still could make it work um yeah we could we can we can or maybe it should go to 360 fit me maybelline you know what these two can make we can make these work because once i bronze and contour and everything they they just balance each other out let's let's have some mercy on them okay my next shade my next foundation do i have another maybelline product here let's get the maybellines out the way yes we sure do this maybelline super stay with vitamin C, this is this was the new um, Maybelline line that came out with the vitamin C. I was just going crazy for this one, three sixty eight. So if three seventy and three sixty is a bit lighter, three sixty eight has to be the ideal shade on me. And this one has a little bit of glow. Y'all can't even see it. She's right here somewhere. Next to the Becca or what was it called? The, the Flesh Foundation. She's a grab and go. What do you guys think? Yep. And the next one was the... Let's go into L'Oreal now. We have we have a few shades of L'Oreal. And um, we're done with Maybelline, I believe. So with L'Oreal True Match, we have N10 and N9. We're gonna switch to the other side of the face. N10 and N9. Um, I went crazy for these two they're beautiful on the skin i'm not sure are they still the same now or am i gonna need to kick them to the curb let's put n9 right here she's a little red but next to this one we can see um, this one is more neutral and I'm more neutral undertone. So this one is a little red on me. And and 10 is deeper. But let's see what, what it looks like. And I do mix the two and nine and, and 10 together. Click it like, you see? This is perfect, and 10 is better on me. Um, and nine is too, too, too light. Of course, with bronzer and everything, we make it work, but this is grab and go without even thinking of um, it not matching me. Perfect. Now, going into this one, True Match. So the story behind these, I had this first. And then they came out with these afterwards. Was that how it was? Yes, they came out with the one with the tube. And this was the original True Match foundation. And the way they had the shades was like this. 8.9 slash 9.5. 8.5 slash 9.5 medium deep coverage. Um, let's see what she looks like now comparing to these two on me. And I think she was the, the perfect, better than N10 um, with the match. Oh, hell nah. 
Okay, this is it. I can go a teensy bit darker, closer to the N10. N10 is my true match. So I was just, y'all see the confusion? You guys see the struggle? Okay. So going into, or we have some more drugstore foundation. Let's get all the drugstores out the way and then we'll jump into the non-drugstore categories. Okay, um, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab Milani. This one is a very old foundation. We spotted it um, from TJ Maxx, the Screen Queen Foundation. This, at that time, was super nice on me. Is it still as I remember it to be? I don't know. We'll find out. That's the purpose of this video, right? She's a little thick. And um, is this what she looks like? What the hell? This is she. Yeah, I'll be looking like a banana face in front of you guys, really and truly. Most of the time, we make it work, but we clearly need to clean things up here a little bit because most of these foundations are not my a good match not even my undertone oh well we live and we learn okay next one will be these revolution foundations we have a few at some point i was going crazy for these i have me some darker shade and mainly because i probably wanted to mix it up with lighter shades um so we have the irl filter effect foundation in the shade f14 and then we grab these conceal and hydrate radiance foundations and the shade SF14 as well. We have F18. I don't know. Maybe to mix it up with other shades. And we also have F10, which is a lot brighter. Oh, I think the concealing part, I use them for concealers and um, like liquid bronzer or contour type of thing. So let's, let's see how they look like on me. But as true, true foundation, I know I use this for concealer definitely but these were my true foundation like i apply them as foundation all over the face not as um contour or highlighters or concealers okay so f18 or f14 on the irl filter foundation we're gonna put her right here another bright or lighter than my shade foundation listen lighter yes but look at my chest sometimes it reflect um to what my chest looks like rather than my face or my neck because my chest looks lighter sometimes in the inner part of my face rather than my neck but we made this work at some point this is what she looks like i think we can move past that or move on from that and perhaps grab a f15 now um or 16 even so this is the other f14 with which is more of a radiance finish Ooh, she's probably a lot more a lot redder than Yep. This is it next to the other F14, different undertone. Now with this one, F18, just for the heck of it, let's see. Yeah, this was for the perimeter of my face because it's a lot darker. I'm not even gonna swatch it. 
and it had the doe foot and I used that for the contour line and this one also for um, concealer due to the doe foot. I didn't even bother using it for foundation. So these are not, shouldn't be involved in this face watch. Um, the next one that I have of Revolution is this new foundation um, by them, the Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. That I can clearly say it is my bad if the shade doesn't match me. Well, it's my bad and Alta's bad because when this first came out, I wanted to try it so badly and I did try it here in a video for you guys. Um, but Alta didn't have much of the shade range available and I thought that was the darkest shade and I was just talking smack about it. But going back, I did notice they have much deeper shade that would most likely match me. And I do want to go back and get me another shade in this foundation. Because I like the finish. I just don't like the shade. So, yeah. She's going on this side. Gonna be my Morphe. Oh, ooh, we have more of Milani's. We have more of the Milani foundation. These conceal and perfect foundations shade 13 um golden toffee and chestnut well shade 14 golden toffee and 13 and chestnut i doubt these will pump oh that was a strong pump all right this is 13 too light and 14 probably too dark I mean we can make her work but she's a little red here let's jump into the Morphe foundations that I have here well, let's jump into Uma so we grabbed these Uma before they um, pulled back from uh, the stores at Ulta. I was able to grab these um, from Walmart, actually. This one, two shades, T2N and T4N. Okay, I think let's try T2N first. I have not used these in a minute. T2N is right here, much lighter. T4N, probably my shade. Still lighter. But this is something with concealer, I mean with bronzer and stuff, can definitely work. The undertone is somewhat close. Okay. Let's put her on the good side. All right. Going to my Morphe foundations. We're going to see the difference. Um, with previous purchase from back in the day to now. We have the filter effect foundations and on my last tj maxx and marshall haul i showed you guys now these are now available at tj maxx and marshall for the low low six dollars and at some point these were close to what 28 30 dollars i'll put the price on the side if they still have them online um so i grabbed me 10 24 what was i thinking and then i went back months later and grab me rich 32 let's see how like the difference between these two shades i don't have it i don't even have room on my hand anymore to pump these foundations so this is 10 am i 10 why would i even think this shade with my or maybe i did find this from tj maxx at some point and had no choice but to grab it but I do have a choice. I always have a choice. Like, what is this? 
Did I even use this here? Let me run back my videos from when I use this and see how that thing looks like. You, you guys, it'd be a hot mess on this side of town. Okay, this is 1024. And then I got me 10 Rich 32. And I think on the ones that I found from, no, I don't. Rich 32 is now this one. She can work, but she's a little yellow. Yeah, she's a little yellow. Um, so none of them match for real, for real. Like the ideal, perfect, like my skin but better match. That's what we're looking for here, okay? We have a few, but boy, do we have a lot of shades that never really truly match me. Um, So here we have that. These are the more, oh, this one was the newest grab. The new line of the Morphe Foundation, the Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. This one. I feel of these two is the skin, my skin, but better type of shade and finish. Y'all get to see it here as well. Let's see. Definitely the right undertone. I can go... Hmm. I think we've seen other foundations here, like this one right here, and this one right here, even that one, that's a lot more close to my shade, especially this one. Then this one can definitely work too. We'll put her on the good side because we definitely gotten better from these two with that one and um moving on to these um grab from tj maxx and marshall these are the jouet essential high coverage foundation we grab i grabbed me a few i'm not even gonna swatch the other shades because the other shades are for my kit um but I did use one here. We had to make her work with um, the match. But this one is in the shade Toffee. We're going to go ahead and swatch Toffee because these are the ones that I put on the side for myself. Toffee. Toffee's a little red. Uh, we did make her work. And we have truffle, I think. Make is the, the, yep, that's the one I used for you guys. Which is much darker. I mean, mixing the two definitely would give me my shade. But this is make. Hmm. <sighs> No, they both need a little work. They both need a little work. These are the, the, the shades that needs assistance to create my perfect match. Now we can start, we can go on with this uh, Fenty Beauty Foundation. This was a good old grab. Did I shake? Let's shake it. This is in the shade 21. When I spread this all over my face, it matches my chest and everything. Why is it looking much white, much whiter next to this shade? I don't know. But she barely looks on, you know, appear on my skin when I apply her. I'm still going to put her on the good side because I know that foundation is like my skin but better type of shade but some way somehow these shades are bouncing off to the 
you know, making it look like something that it's not. Yeah, I'll keep this one on my good side because I know that foundation like the back of my hand. I could just slap it on and go with no problem. Never had to make her work. So the next one, my newest grab, and I was super happy with this one, is from Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I did create a look for you guys. This is another My Skin But Better. Let's see how it looks like next to Fenty. This is like my true match. Like, yo. You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? You can't even see it. It's really close to the fancy one, just a teensy bit darker. But the undertone is the same. That glow, you see the glow from that swatch. Super nice. I love that foundation. One of my best, best grab. And I think because of this foundation, it somewhat made me want to reconsider the hell I've been doing with all these other shade match of my foundation and really want me to made me want to pull them all out and show it to you guys this is how we've been doing it i don't know i don't know how we, i made it this far but here we are with all these match well are they even match with all these different shades on my face <laughs> but this one it's like you 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 know what you're doing now girl you have you know what to grab and this is you don't have to make this work this is just your shade your skin but better your skin in a bottle love this foundation and my next one let's okay let's go with some of my nars foundations and um yeah let's see if i have to really slap myself in the rear end if these foundations really don't match me most likely they don't um we'll see let's just see so we have from new caledonia with the neutral rate natural radiant foundation this good, you know, good old baby here. Um, let's see how she looks on me. Let's see how everything looks next to this. If you don't make it somewhere close to this, I don't want you on my face. Let's see. New Caledonia. I mean, she's been doing me right though, but she's not this. She's not that. Okay. Look at New Caledonia. What am I going to do with you? Let's try the other ones. This one is in the shade. Also New Caledonia. This one is the light reflecting one. These are the same shade. Different um well this is the light reflecting this other the other one they're supposed to be they're supposed to be close to each other as far as the finishing these are the two new caledonia clearly they don't look the same on me they do not look the same at all so nars i don't know what it is that's going on over there the shades are not you know adding up with with each other so this is New Caledonia, and this one is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation and Marquise. This I grabbed before these other two. Um, let's see how I did with that one. This face would be a good thumbnail, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, let's see how I did with this one. Y'all see the difference? This is my very first NARS foundation. And this one, this one, and then this one. No, I think this one was the last purchase from NARS. But 
I only grabbed this one because of the match of that one, but they, clearly this is not the same match. And this is way off. So I need to revisit the shade range of NARS to see exactly what will give me this baby right here or even this one right here. If Will it even give me that match? Because not all foundation line have the variety or the yeah the variety of shade range to perfect the match so much so that when you put it on you don't even see it on your skin like you clearly see i have something here because of the light reflecting from it and even this one as a light reflecting foundation don't even look nowhere near reflective as this one listen some be some be knowing what they're doing and some are still trying what do i know okay so that's that with nars let's go to um two face i have the which one is this one foundation the short one and then i have the the tall one i think the tall one was first and then the short one came after I have spiced rum in both and let's see what the match is looking like now spice rum works let's look at the small one it's not this though but it can work it could work. You see? Maybe the undertone is a little off. But looking at them too, you, it's, it's close. It's really close to my skin. I think this is a teensy bit. Is this an olive undertone? I don't know. Now I'm looking at these two. It's not as... Yo, I don't know. I'm confused now. But the spice rum can go on the good pile. It, it sure can. Let's see how it looks on the drawline. Yeah. She could go on the good line on the good pile definitely okay um i recently used this one the two face the about face foundation i have nowhere on my face let's say let's use the inner part of my face or even this side here the about face foundation to be quite honest with you i don't like when my foundation comes in a doe foot I consider the doe foot products as, con you know, concealer type of products. My foundation either needs to have a pump or no pump. I, I, I'm fine with, you know, pouring it over my hand and um, move on with life. Because doe foot, mm -mm. give me that in a concealer. This is about face and the shade uh the performer the performer looking at it next to everything now uh it works but it could be better but it it's on the good pile i'll put it on the good pile let me know let me know as you guys are watching this let me know which should go on a good pile because I could be just seeing things in front of me. What y'all seeing over there may not be the same thing I'm seeing here. Um, hence, that's why we have all this situation going on on the face when I'm thinking we're rocking it here, girl. Although I do inform you guys, sometimes I'm making certain shade work to my shade. And sometimes I just be winging it. Um, so... Yeah, let me know. As you're seeing each shade, which one is you think is really it and which one you really 
I should just really not even reach ever for. Um, let's go to Huda Beauty. We have Nutmeg um, from Huda Beauty. I have not used her in a minute and she's not even pumping for me right now. I understand Huda. We have not been connecting lately. So Nutmeg is the shade I chose from Huda Beauty. Let's see what she looks like right here. Huh. You see how these shades just blend into my skin? This one too, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, this don't belong here. So this is it right here. Nutmeg. I don't even think there's a better match from the Huda Beauty, Beauty line than this one for me. And this is where sometimes you gotta go with what they give you and make it work. And, um, you know, shoot, shoot for the better. Some Like, be thankful when we find shades, like brand like this giving us variety of shades or even Fenty Beauty giving us so much shade range. And you have no problem picking the right shade for you. Um, so, yeah. So this one, I feel like this is the best grab I could have from Huda Beauty. So I'll, that's why I put her on the good pile. Now this one, Laura Mercier. Clove, I can tell you guys, Clove right now is was something that I had to grab because of the situation behind it. But it's... A little bit deeper than your girl however just as I made it work with all the lighter shades we made it work with the deep shade as well but this is not a grab and go foundation for me we're gonna put her on the make it work pal although this is a brand new foundation um, we'll still make it work like on the days I have nothing else to do but to play in the, with these shades, that's exactly what I'm going to use. But to go, let's say I got to go to work and I want to have a face beat up and I got to grab something, we'll go on that pile instead. Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear T7N1, I can tell you right now, is another one that I have to make. Like, we got to make her work. She's not not only a little red for me. Um, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Let's swatch her right next to this one right here. What do you guys see? What was I talking about? I feel if I mix this with that, you will not see not a thing on my face. I feel these two brands are so close to each other. Although this is an OG foundation. Yes, it's a little red, but the swatch though, you see it? Uh, yeah, I can see it. But with this, this is giving me too much of a neutral tone and this is a tinsy bit right but we can make her work hmm this is so hard mac foundation was one of these shades that i had no choice but to grab 
This is in the shade NW55. I think I am more so NW45. But let's see what 55 looks like now. Oh, damn. Oh. Can y'all see the difference? Okay, Mac. Good pal. Um, this Beauty Blender Foundation. Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. Um, we haven't used her in a minute. Let's see what she looked like from back in the day. This one has a method to it. I don't even need to put it on the back of my hand because it has a little part here to grab the product. Where do we put her? On this side of the lip? Okay, definitely too light. Y'all see the difference? This one has MAC and this is the Beauty Blender shade. That's all I got. Um, again, with the help of the type of powder you use, the finishing powder you use over the foundation make a difference. The concealer you use with the foundation make a difference. The bronzer you use with the foundation also make a difference. You should take in consideration all of that as you're doing your face because if i'm using a foundation like this i'd have to change the type of concealer i'm using versus a shade like this we may not want to go too bright with some with a shade like this um but we gotta take in consideration the other stuff we add on to the face pairing with the foundation to make it work if you have the time to mix the two sometimes we don't find the shade the perfect shade from the the company to get our perfect match then that's what we gotta do we make it work i'm going to pass on some of the shades that are so far off from me on this side and re um set up these foundations that i have on that side for me to grab and go daily um and um throw away some on that side definitely because they are so old they're from years of time and we're not trying to we have the skincare down pack here on this side of town we're not trying to you know come out here with an, a swollen side of the face just because i'm using a super expired foundation let's not do that let's not let's not let's not do that okay we have these foundations still available. Some of them, the Becca, I doubt you'll find anything uh, that's brand new and good condition. Um, this flesh definitely is, is I gotta say goodbye to. She's really, she's done me well. 36 months after opening this one, I've had it more for more than 36 months. Um, 12 months this one says definitely gotta go okay so hopefully this video was somewhat entertaining was somewhat helpful somewhat give you guys an idea for those who have similar skin tone as me to know what is going to work and what isn't going to work because then well i had to figure that out myself and coming into realization <gasps> I'm not done. I am not done. I mean, y'all could have told me that. Like, what about my house laugh foundations? Okay, let's 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 just let's just okay. House laughs. You can read my poker face. Okay, house labs. Why did I even forget house labs? Yo, so this one, the story behind this one, again, why I keep doing this, I don't know. The lighting at Sephora somewhat be tricking us too. And these representative or these sales reps don't really be knowing their stuff to help us out for real. 
Um, so I got me in first hand shade 530 Deep Neutral. The only thing that's good here is the undertone, the neutral undertone. But coming home, that shade is so dark on me. More so like even darker than this one, I feel. Or like that one. Um, then I went back to return it and it was already past the returning timeline. So I got me shade five, 490 medium deep cool. And that's what I've been rocking with. Medium deep cool looks like this on me. Where else do I have on my face to put it? Uh, okay, let's put her on my chest. Do y'all see it? Medium deep cool is, listen, we have room here to just spread her out. You could barely see her, okay? And let me show you the other one. And some good old days, if I get a 10 or whatever, I may mix the two together to get a deeper bronzy look and this is the first one 530 y'all see what i mean do y'all see the difference you could you don't even see this one on my chest right here so that's where we at again i created a look with this one it, it worked it, I look like I came from a vacation or something. Um, we didn't use any bronzer because it was deep enough on the skin. Um, the concealer I used was much darker than my other concealers, closer to my skin tone to kind of bring out that light on my face to brighten up this somewhat. So there's always a trick to making these foundation work um but it's not like we have we always have the time to make it work um so that's about it my loves hope this was helpful somewhere out there in this world for you guys let me know what you guys think let me know which foundation you, you guys notice works for me best without no hesitation with just grabbing and going um and we'll chit chat about it in the comments below. So let me know. Without further, well, if that's all I got for you guys, that's it. Check out whatever videos we have on the side. Subscribe if you have not done so. And um, thank you so much if you've been rocking here with me, watching me working this foundation out from the beginning of time. And we are now here knowing better, doing better, sharing better. So, yes, thank you so much for sticking through with me, and I'll see you guys on another one. Bye.